Hi guys, this is Twig for the week you of. Sound like the most depressing kid in the world. <laughs> for the week of um, the the twelfth through the sixteenth. There we go. But this is May. Yeah, not I keep April. wanting to say April. Like I get April and May mixed up in my mind for mm, some reason. Like April Fools. Uh, yeah, no, I am an April Fool. Okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> It was like there was a lot of news this week. It was all like tidbit news. Like turn you know. your mic up, Aaron. Okay, sorry, Raymond and Anna. I did turn it up, so it should be pretty loud. I'm too loud, apparently. Yeah, you're like. Bruh! I don't know this. Sorry, I have a manly voice. Yeah. I got a girl voice. You're saying? Okay. Um. I do. So there's a lot of tidbits information. We're gonna go right into it. Far Cry Four has been announced, and it will be released on November 18th. It takes place in the Himalayas and ruled by a self-appointed desp- despotic king. So. That I was a hard sentence. Yeah, huh? I was like despotic. <laughs> the word threw me off. I've never seen it before. Des- despotic? Despotic. Okay. There you go. Now I know what the word is. Okay, <laughs> but uh, the third one was a hit, right? Yeah, the third one was great. I loved it. I told you I wanted to be game of year, but then it got super repetitive after I got to the second part of the island. I was like, yeah, never mind. But that was actually, my dad plays it, and he loves it. That's where my dad plays that game. I don't know why. He, uh, he couldn't kill, there's tigers. You have to kill animals, and there's tigers. He couldn't kill the tiger to save him life. He was so mad. Because you had to kill it with a bow and arrow. He's like, this is so stupid. Why are you doing this thing right now? Oh, he was mad. I was like, and I just went, I took it. I just went, ka-ching, killed it. And he's like, <laughs> he grumbled. <laughs> oh, that one was fun, though. Um, Boss was like everyone loved. He was one of the, he was like the, the minor head villain. The minor main character, I guess what I'm saying. Head villain, villain. He was awesome. He was a great character. I mean, a um, little Assassin's Creed news, you know. Ubisoft has announced they will be making Assassin's Creed games for the 360 and the PS3 for the foreseeable future. So that means they're just going to milk that franchise every year. It's become the It's next become one. COD. Yeah. Oh, actually, Rooster Teeth did like a little thing when they uh, played five games, like Call of Duty games. They were doing something like a little thing for the videos. Well, they played like each map in each game and it, I mean, it, People were nitpicky, but they're like, I read the comments. Oh, besides the graphical changes, I couldn't tell the difference between any cards and something like that. And um, I mean, kind of agree with that. I mean, the first three were not meant to be like you know game changers like that. The four changed it, five changed it. Like they were just nitpicking though, because three, one, two, and three. Well, one, two was only on the Xbox, I think. No, one, two, and three was only on the thing. One, two, and God, what's the other one? I can't remember. That. They were all the same maps and everything, because they were just graphical upgrades. I'll agree with that, but five was a different thing. Four is different. Uh six wasn't because that was Modern Warfare two. <laughs> so I mean people complain about it, but obviously it, it wasn't the first like three weren't meant to be like, you know, different games all entirely. But I loved it. Um and then Watchdog News <laughs> is choked almost has gone gold. Which means they are done with everything. They're putting it into production and they'll be out shipping uh, I think it's twenty seventh is the day it comes out. Um, in addition, they hope to sell 6 million copies. I think it could. Yeah, I, but... So I hype. On Reddit, though, people were complaining because it's not 1080p. It's only 900 frames per second. That's on, so weird. Yeah, 900 on the PS4, I think, and 7, like, 20 on the Xbox, and only at 30 frames. They wanted 1080 and 60 frames per second. I mean, they were upset, Reddit. I was like, oh, my God. And Well, you know what? That makes sense because... Dude, what? You can't make a 1080 game by now? Uh, yeah, it's like because it's a next gen. They promise exactly. Next gen. It's next gen. They promise yeah. next gen quality. And it's that's no excuse. Gonna, I mean, you should write them a letter then. I I will tell them. Um, tell my congressman. Here's a little sad news. Day Z. Uh, the source code for Day Z has been hacked and put on Reddit. Reddit's like the topic of the day today. Um, and uh, has been hacked, which allows hackers and modders to exploit the game. If you have the source code, I I, I don't know. I don't hack games. I think if you have the source code, though, you can do, like, a lot of stuff. Source code. Yeah. <laughs> click, 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 click. I how they, like, do that stuff. Though. I just want to, like, watch. I don't know. Do they even use a mouse? Or they just, like, use the keyboard only? If you see that in movies, right, they just do mouses. You're like, like, yeah, like, it's the next page. Just use the mouse. They use just the keyboard. Just a bunch of numbers on <laughs> the screen. We watched Jobs the other day, and, like, the screen came up. It was just A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It was the alphabet just going back and forth. I was like, ah. Uh. I think they ran That out. movie sucked. Yeah, it was bad. Woo! Um... Big old aru. Yeah, that was pretty bad. And then Grand Theft Auto Five. The game has sold a record thirty three million copies since launch. Which is incredible. It's one of the fastest selling games as well. Like since launch. Like, you know, obviously it's games that sell like way more. But like this is like one of the fastest selling games. And they said they would protect like another fifty percent uh increase in sales for Grand Theft Auto Five. 
for this year. Like, oh my god, how do you get another fifty percent? That's uh, what thirty three divided by two is eleven. I mean, wow. Yeah, that's divided by three. Um, fifteen, sixteen point something, sixteen and a half. 16 that's and sixteen half. and a half more million copies they're gonna sell. That's absolutely incredible. I want to. Can we make a game like that, Dave? Like, Dave Grand and Theft Aaron. Auto, Lafayette, Dave and Aaron, got Rich Joe Gamers. I mean, it could work. Um, and then we got uh, game releases, which is waiting to come up because obviously I always forget that every single time. Mm-hmm. You know me, I'm like the bad person. In Professional shows. No. It doesn't help my nose is running like a little Dude, girl. Dude, yes. Like, I don't know why. You're suffering right here. <laughs> I don't want to, like, blow Fighting my nose. through the pain. I'm going to blow it on the mic. Okay, let's get to game releases, which is we're in May. There's one game coming out I'm getting uh, actually next week. So we got uh, Dragon Guard 3. Oh, yeah. Muggin Souls Z. Muggin Souls? Muggin Souls. I think you said muggin. Like, a mug. muggin that soul. <laughs> Give me that soul. Then we have a... Uh, Transistor, um, and then finally, what I'm getting is Wolfenstein: The New Order, which is uh, I love the Wolfenstein games. They're really I played first one I ever played was uh, Return to Castle Wolfenstein, which was uh, a PC game. Actually, it's up there in that corner. It was by far the funnest I had, but it was a it was hard to play if you didn't like if you weren't good at video games. Like those old school games are brutal. They have no mercy. Um, and then uh, last one is The Forced. Don't know what that is about. So. And that's it for the news. Whoa, this week almost Thank dropped you. my the iPad. The sniffle edition of Twig. Don't make fun of my sniffles. Uh, I was going to count all the sniffles, but again, I have to leave early. So, so yeah. That's a bunch. That. Yeah. <laughs> Sniffle count, a bunch. And we thank you for watching. Goodbye.